Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about exercise, specifically some tips for beginners. Let's do it. So let's talk about exercise. Ariel is gonna be covering more of the cardio side of exercise and I'll be covering the weight training portion of exercise. If you haven't already, feel free to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and let's begin with cardio. So just to start off, we just wanna make sure that you guys know that we are not physical trainers, nor are we doctors. We are just sharing things with you that we have researched and also have been through ourselves. So before we start, just make sure that you need to consult with a doctor if you have any physical limitations and just know your body and don't stress it out too much. For anyone who is just starting off working out, there is a few things that we should probably tell you before we get into the meat of this video. First off, weight loss is not gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna notice change in probably even a week. It's a slow process, but it's worth it. If you put in the effort, you will get the results. Even though that weight loss is a longer process, a lot of it does have to do with our diet, but we're gonna cover that in our next video. For anyone who's just starting off with working out, I definitely would recommend only taking a walk for around 30 minutes and see how you do. If you are out of breath after 30 minutes, keep doing that 30 minutes every day until you build up your lung capacity and your heart so you can handle more exercise. We don't want you to push yourself too hard, but definitely a lot of effort will be needed if you're going to see more progress and see growth. However, when you think that it's time for you to start exercising heavier or even heading off to a gym, just know your limitations and don't push yourself too much. When you Google any type of workout plan, you are going to see so many really expensive plans that are really helpful but you don't necessarily need them right now, especially if you're just starting out. So I would recommend Googling free workout plans and see if you like them, see if you can stick with those. And then eventually, if you are consistent, go ahead and buy whatever program you want, but I don't want you wasting money on expensive program that you're not gonna use. So giving yourself a goal is definitely an important step in starting exercising. I would recommend kind of planning out your week. So I'll be exercising, let's say three times a week. Schedule the days that you want to do those exercises on. Make sure you get time during those days to work out and to fulfill your goal. However, if you do happen to skip a day, it's not reason to give up. You just need to bump it a day if you have to, and that's completely fine. In this video, I am going to look at more of the cardio aspect of it while Eric does more of the weightlifting. Some benefits of doing cardio are obviously weight loss. Uh, you get a stronger heart, bigger lung capacity. You are less risk of getting diseases you get more energy and then you also can sleep better. Cardio is also a great lead for if you are already kind of slim, it will tone your muscles more and get you that more lean shape that you're looking for. So you can start by adding cardio into just daily activities that you do. For example, you can take the stairs instead of the elevator. You can go take a walk instead of sitting on your couch. And for me, I always park in a further parking spot just because it will get me more steps during the day. So I'm gonna go over a couple cardiovascular machines that will definitely get your heart rate up if you push yourself and push your intensity. Cycling bikes are definitely a go-to for an easy cardio workout. I would definitely label it as a beginner level cardio machine just because it is hard to lose a bunch of calories doing that machine. However, it is a great starting place if you are just starting to work out or if you haven't worked out in a long time. The other great thing about cycling bikes is that it is definitely low impact on your joints. So if you do have any joint issues, maybe we can start there and see how you do. The next machine I would go to after cycling would be the elliptical. This machine was made so it would have 
less impact on your hips and on your knees. So this machine is definitely great if you do have any physical limitations, but it does burn less calories than the other machines and the other ways of cardio that I'm going to be talking about. Now, a more intense cardio machine is definitely going to be the stair climber. I do not like the stair climber. However, it works cardio and it also works your legs. So one of the ways that you can use this machine to be more efficient is to go as hard as you can for 30 seconds. Really push yourself. Then for the next one to two minutes, slowly walk as if you were just normally walking up the stairs. Do this 10 to 15 times. And you're gonna get a great workout in. Now I wanna give you some options that doesn't involve either buying an expensive machine or going out to the gym. First off, swimming is not only a great cardio exercise, but it works your whole body. Now you can do this in many different ways. You can not only just tread water while you're in the pool, or you can do laps. And there's so many different strokes that you are able to do. I especially love this way to exercise during the summer when it's really hot, it gets you out of that heat, and it gets you cooled off and you're also working out. The other thing I want to address is that if you do have shoulder problems, maybe laps aren't the best option for you, but you can definitely tread water. My next exercise is to use a jump rope. Now I remember back when I was in volleyball, we would race each other to see how many times that we could jump within a minute. And this exercise not only is cardio, but it improves your coordination, which is awesome. You might not get the hang of it at first, but if you just keep trying, you will definitely improve. It's easy to do, it's small, you can take it anywhere you go, and it also burns a lot of calories. So this is a great tool for you. So the last exercise I would like to address before transitioning over to Eric's weight training is yoga. A lot of people think yoga is just meditating and sitting on the floor. That's not how it goes all the time. You can find yoga practices that work your body, that make you sweat, and it's a great exercise if you are just starting off. So there is also scientific evidence that shows if you practice yoga, you are less likely to suffer from obesity, diabetes, and heart problems. I love yoga. I think you should give it a try. So I'm gonna be covering strength training and weightlifting because I am a guy, of course. This is gonna be tailored toward men, but anyone can utilize these tips if they wanna build muscle. So I didn't lift any weights until I went to college, and I am genetically very slim and lanky. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> and so I really tried to build size, and that was my main goal when I first started lifting weights. And then later on, I started to see the various benefits that you get from that. I was fortunate when I began working out in that I was able to go to a gym with a lot of friends. And some of these friends had some prior knowledge with weight training. So they were able to show me different exercises to do based on what muscle groups I wanted to target. And most importantly, they were able to show me how to have correct form. So the first tip in building muscle is injecting steroids. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Having great form is extremely important when you're starting out because if you have bad form, not only is it going to reduce your gains, but it's also probably going to give you injuries. When I was starting out, I would try to just do as much weight as possible because I wanted other people to see how much I could lift. And because of this, I did not always have the best form and it ended up putting a lot of strain on my joints. And in hindsight now, I realize how important having good form is. If you do not have a group of friends to go to the gym with, but you wanna learn how to do these exercises, really you can YouTube just about any exercise and there will be someone showing you the right form for it, a good starting weight if you wanna to try to do a certain amount of weight at the beginning, and you'll be able to get a lot of tips from there. But even if you are going to a gym, feel free to ask somebody that looks like they're experienced. People are really helpful uh, at the gym. They might look scary, but they really like helping beginners with their knowledge. If you're trying to build muscle and strength, the best way really is to invest in a gym membership because they have all the tools that you'll need, uh, high-end equipment, that kind of thing. 
and gym memberships can run as low as $10 a month, so price is really not an excuse to not be working out. If you do choose to go the route of working out at home, you're in good company. Uh, it's been a dream of mine to be able to build a home gym for a long time, and we were fortunate when we bought our house that it came with two sheds, and I was able to turn one into my personal home gym. Gyms are definitely a great thing, but I personally like some solitude and I like to be able to just focus on my workout instead of having all the distractions of friends and other people around at the gym. I got all of my equipment used pretty much, but it was still a financial investment. And I realized that a lot of people don't have the space or don't want to spend the money on all this stuff to have a gym. And that's fine, um, but I do have a few tips for just a few pieces of equipment that aren't terribly expensive don't take up a whole lot of space that are great to get you started in home workouts. One of my favorite pieces of equipment that I think is really underrated um, is just an exercise band set. Now I have one that was probably $25 on Amazon. It's an adjustable kind, so I can adjust how much resistance I'm getting and it is extremely versatile. I use it in a ton of different exercises. There are two other pieces of gym equipment that I think are great for beginners. And the first one is a pull-up bar. Uh, I used to have the kind that you know goes over the door frame and I got mine for like five bucks at Goodwill. And that's great when you're just starting out. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing and it's something that you can just walk by and see it and do some pull-ups. The other is some sort of adjustable dumbbell set. And there's different kinds that you can get um, different price ranges, but this is great because dumbbell sets are an awesome thing to have if you're doing a workout, but they take up a ton of space to have all those different dumbbells and they're very expensive if you do buy a brand new set. So if you get an adjustable set, you can store it somewhere, take it out, and then depending on the exercise that you're using, you can adjust how much weight it is. And with dumbbells, there's so many videos on YouTube for different exercises. So you can really see that you can hit a ton of different muscle groups just with this one piece of equipment. At the end of the day, exercise just has to be a priority to you. You'll always be able to find an excuse not to work out if you're looking for one. But if you're patient and you stick to a workout routine, you will see benefits. When we first moved to South Carolina, we were renting a really small house and I didn't have a gym membership right away. So I ended up working out outside as best I could with cinder blocks. And so it's just about making the most of what you have at the time and not using anything as an excuse to say, oh, I, I can't work out right now. All this to say, don't worry about having the perfect gym, the perfect workout routine, any of that stuff. Just start somewhere. Now, since your body isn't used to working out yet, just know that you're going to be a little bit sore for the next few days or even a few weeks as your body adjusts to you working out. That pain is just your body putting stress on your muscles when you work out and that's making them grow stronger. We hope that you learned something today and, or that you got a little more comfortable with the idea of working out. We are gonna be putting out videos every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. See ya. Bye. Steroids. <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> this machine to be most efficient. <laughs>